Good morning guys, you're in my GoPro right now. How's it feel to be in there? It's really small in there. You guys must be pretty cramped. It's another new day, we're back into the regular swing of things. Videos every day. I make videos of myself traveling around all North America. And not just the traveling part, but I also take you along on some parts when I'm at home. Or like the other day I went to a hockey game. So hope you guys enjoy. If you're new, don't forget to hit the subscribe button on the YouTube page so you don't miss a video. Go down below to the description after the video. You can learn a whole lot more about me and find past vlogs of mine. I've been doing this for almost four years. You can get the last three years of videos in the description down below of what I was doing on this exact day. Anyways, you guys all know that already, right? You, you. I'm in Evansdale, Iowa today. Evansdale. I knew an Evan growing up. He was a good guy. And I knew a guy with the last name Dale, too. So I guess they came together and they made a town, Evansdale. And it's in Iowa. And there's a pilot here behind me. I nosed into this spot here in front of me. I actually moved halfway through the night uh, to another spot. I was parked in sort of like my own spot. And then as soon as it cleared out a little bit, I moved here. because I wasn't in the way, but I was, you know, I was making things tight in the driveway so as soon as the there was an open space available I woke up and checked and I came and moved into this spot here in nose in so I could have a good sleep I had an exhausting week I had a lot of fun this last week so this this night I just took and slept and I slept so good because I sleep so good in here this is home to me in my truck let's get this vlog going all right let's get out of here sit the road Jack I think we're getting on to Interstate 380. <coughs> Looks like we're crossing from North Dakota into Saskatchewan. Uh, I'm not sure if we're going to make it tonight. Probably not going to make it tonight. We'll probably make it into northern North Dakota somewhere. And hopefully the weather isn't too cold up there. Get on to the big old freeway. Everybody buckle in, strap in. We're about to kick it into overdrive. Oh good, there's no one on the road to ignore it. That's awesome. That's perfect. There we go. Let the day begin. Like I always say, this is the best part of my day. kilometers. Then take ramp on right to like 380 north. Whatever, Mandy. Iowa, Iowa. Can you tell we're in Iowa? Lots of grain bins and feed bins and whatever they are. There's lots of bins around here. of the I-94, I was on the Book of Face before, and I saw a warning for drivers that the I-94 between Michigan, Ohio, and Indiana will be under an enforcement blitz sometime soon. Look into it. Just heads up, drivers. If you want to avoid that area, if you are able to. I don't like those blitzes. I guess they are necessary, seeing as there are a lot of people out there who uh, don't maintain their equipment. Just make sure yours is maintained, do your pre-trip if you're going through that area. And just be ready for uh, an inspection. Hopefully none of you get inspected and pulled in, but just saying that they're, uh, they're saying there's a blitz coming. They might just be, you know, bluffing to scare you, but every time they say there's a blitz, I never see anything. Now I gotta knock on wood. So you know next time they say that, I'm gonna get pulled in and get a level one. Whatever, whatever. Here in Iowa, I'm starting to feel more like home here. More in my kind of area. Lots of farms, not as many people. You know, I'm always excited to be wherever I am, but whenever I come back to my region, like I, I think of Iowa, North Dakota, South Dakota, Sort of like my region, you know, the, the plains, the prairies, wide open fields, farms everywhere, good conservative spirit. And I just feel at home with all these people here. Well, 
Mr. Chewaholic over here forced us to make an early stop at Walmart because he chewed through my power cord for my computer. So I cannot edit without this. Yeah, this was you. Don't touch it. What's wrong with you? Chew your monkey, not my cords. Yeah, you better feel bad. You better feel bad. That's right. You feel really bad. No, don't get all excited. I'm not playing with you. Sit there and keep your head on the floor. That's right. Great, now I gotta take this cord inside. Gotta go find me a new power cord for my computer, otherwise I can't edit the vlog. You're almost a year old, man. Almost a year old. No, I'm not playing with you. I'm not playing with you. Yeah, you should be a little scared of me right now. You can sense this energy coming off of me right now, right? It's not a good energy, is it? Might be a little scary. Yeah, you should be afraid. Told you you wouldn't like me when I'm angry. Unbelievable. 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 I mean, I believe it because I saw it. But if I didn't see it, I would have been like, really? I don't know. And you know what? I even gave him a toy to play with while I went in to get a new cord. He didn't deserve that. But it's safer for him to have that toy than for me to leave him alone in here after that. So if he chews through another cord, I'm not going to be happy at all. So I'm going to go into Walmart. We stopped at Walmart here in uh, just into Minnesota from Iowa. I don't even know what town we're in here right now. i got to mark it in the log right away. I'll figure it out then, but let's go in there. Hopefully they have the cord that I need. So I don't even know if Walmart carries these cords. I might need to go to like a computer, a computer store. Look how many times I've already fixed it, eh? I've already fixed it a couple of times. Unreal. Unreal. I needed to get more water anyways, so... Whatever. Oh, so I found my cord. I also found a bunch of other stuff. Walmart will do that to you. Why are you stepping on all my stuff, eh? I'm still mad at you. you stay on the bed. You stay right there. That was a $75 charger, man. $75 American. You got a hundred bucks Canadian on you in there somewhere? You ain't gonna fart out a couple of 20s for me? What's going on? Well, that little orange light is on there, so that means it's charging. Means we got the right charger. And what are you doing with this jug of Windex here? You put it there, man. Don't blame that one on me, too. Oh, yo, you'll put that. I'll blame you for whatever I want, man. <laughs> Maybe not. All right, Sarge, you're gonna have to calm down, stop chewing through all my cords, and then we can be friends again, okay? Until then, you just keep your head on the floor, and you think about what you've done. Totally forgot already, haven't you? Must be nice to be a dog. What are you talking about, man? Minneapolis, Minnesota. We're gonna try to get into traffic here without hitting anybody. Excuse me! Truck Josh coming to you. Excuse me. Pardon me. Sometimes you just gotta be a little aggressive and stick your nose Lock in there. 36 kilometers on I-494 West. Alright, there we go. Pardon me. So we're here in rush hour. Unfortunately, this ungodly hour in every city. And Minneapolis is no exception. They got a lot of people living here. Like Minneapolis, St. Paul is a massive city. It's the closest megatropolis, I would say, to Winnipeg. From here, we're only about six and a half hours home depending if you're in a semi, or a semi, or a personal vehicle that can actually do the speed limit. But we're not going home, we're going past. We're going to cross from North Dakota, like I said, into Saskatchewan, we'll probably be doing that tomorrow. Delivering into Regina, and then I have a load that's probably going south. All I know is it's gonna take me back past the Manitoba yard. And then I'll probably just continue on with it wherever it's going. I need to get some miles in, so wherever they want to send me, I shall go. I will be a very good monkey and do whatever they tell me to do. I want a pet monkey. That'd be so much fun. 
Ty Moss's dad has a pet monkey. He makes YouTube videos. I want one. Ty and Gray, they both tell me, no, stay away from it. You don't want a monkey. I don't know, I sort of still do. <laughs> but how do you find a sitter for a monkey? You can't just bring it, you know, to a, a dog boarding kennel or anything. Where do you bring your monkey? You have to bring it with you everywhere for the rest of your life. Everywhere. Like, imagine that. Funerals, weddings, <laughs> work banquets. You gotta bring your monkey. I guess that's one of the downsides to having <laughs> vacations. The monkey's coming along. You get married, you have a honeymoon, monkey's coming along. I don't think there's any monkey sitters anywhere. Not that I know of. There might, I bet you there is in LA. I bet you anything. In California, they got people who will watch your monkey for you. You just have to drop them off there. California's got everything. It's a fantasy land. Nothing's real there. Do you know that? Even the air is fake. Supper today. Thai pay. Chicken chow mein. Traditional noodles. White meat chicken and vegetables in savory soy sauce. Sounds delicious. Thank you, Walmart. Thank you. No, not for you, Sergeant. You ate my cord, I'm still mad at you. Go over there and eat your food over there. Take out the trash or something. Do something useful. Oh, this is so good. It's so good. Oh, yeah. Another day, another penny. Just pulled in here the Flying J in Fargo, North Dakota. Should be able to find a parking spot here. We'll spend the night here and tomorrow we will go the rest of the way up to Regina, Saskatchewan. Let's see if we can find a good spot. Looks like there's quite a few spots available back here. Oh yeah, lots of room here. Lots of room. Beautiful, beautiful. Good stuff. All right, in we go for a shower. Shower time. It's the best time. This Flying J is so much better here in Fargo since they renovated it. But the showers, I believe, here are still in the basement. If you don't know where they are when you get here. I always had to look around for a little while at the beginning because I kept forgetting they were in the basement. It's like you've never seen one of these in my videos before. Except today, I've been filming on this little GoPro. That's how small it is, eh? Much easier to carry around with me. I sort of like it like that. But every once in a while I use this one. Lots of scum on the side of that shower. What do you call it? Not scum. <laughs> soap scum? Yeah, soap scum, right? Eh, whatever. It'll do. And that was the end of the vlog. So we had a little incident with Sergeant chewing through my cords again. We did the whole vlog on the GoPro again. We did the whole vlog tomorrow on the GoPro too, just so you know. I know it's a little fish-eyed, makes my face look really weird, right? 
I look better in real life, trust me. Yeah, Sergeant shoot through my cord. That really ticked me off, but don't worry, we've made peace with each other. We're friends again. So long as he stops chewing my stuff that costs a hundred dollars. And uh, we will be on our way into Saskatchewan tomorrow, but we're gonna stop right there in Fargo. Hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. Tomorrow the vlog will be going through mostly North Dakota, through Northern North Dakota. I can give you a little sneak peek where we're at. We stopped here for a coffee at the Cinex. And we're just editing up the vlog here and saying goodbye to you guys. Tune in tomorrow for our journey into Saskatchewan. I'll see you then. Don't forget down below in the description if you want to learn more about me or see more vlogs of mine, links are down below in the description. Go check them out if you haven't. If you're new, don't forget to hit that subscribe button up above there on the YouTube page so that you don't miss a single video. Things are beeping at me, I gotta go.